is Shelby with Farmhouse Living and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to install vertical shiplap in my master bedroom and I want to start by telling you if I can do this, which currently I don't know if I can do this, but if I can do this, you can do this because I'm not very proficient in power tools. Projects like this that basically are more than painting um, intimidate me, overwhelm me but I'm bound and determined to complete my master bedroom and I also want to get my hands dirty. I really want to DIY, I want to try to do this. And so this weekend I've borrowed a bunch of power tools from my friend Alma and I'm gonna do it. But I'm also really excited to share this particular space with you because it used to be my garage. So in around four years ago, my husband and I bought a 1960s ranch and completely renovated it. Um, well, we lived in it for um, two years or a year and a half and then we renovated it and then it's been about two years. I, I'm not sure the timeline, but I haven't shared a ton of my own home. I typically, we do home tours and we share my mom's house and design projects, but this will be the first like actual room, full room that we've shared in this house since we renovated. So um, th this, like I said before, this was our garage. Um, you can't tell, they match the hardwoods really well. We had 1960s red oak and somehow they found wood, they laid red wood and then they refinished the whole thing. They also did that in our kitchen and that was one of my favorite things that we did in this house. Um, and then, <laughs> so, in the garage there was also a laundry room and the laundry room ended up being my master bathroom which one day we'll show you it's not completely finished but anyways so I wanted to start with this project just because seeing my master actually completed when it was my garage I think will be the most gratifying thing I'm excited to complete this space first project is installing vertical shiplap Next project is just accessorizing, decorating, and I'll show you like my design board and how like my vision for this space, which I'm really excited about because um, I'm going a little farmhouse, a little modern. Like we talked about a couple videos ago, I'm really gonna mix some styles in here. So I'm excited to see it all come together with you. Okay, so here's what you need for this project, of course. You need shiplap. I'm using UFP Edge Timeless Nickel Gap Shiplap and um, I really like it because I think it's going to be a lot easier to make consistent gaps than if you were to cut plywood or something like that. Might be a little bit more of an investment but to me I feel like let's just do it do it right and also it was it accommodated my skill level. I wouldn't be able to cut individual strips like that but I can purchase them and they just go together like a puzzle piece which is amazing so they actually sent this product to me so thank you very much UFP Edge for sending me some shiplap I'm excited to use it in this space secondly you need fur strips so furring strips are going to help you support um, where it doesn't hit a stud and we'll talk about that more during the video you'll need a um, nail gun a compressor to connect to the nail gun and then I am also using a jigsaw to cut around the um, fixtures and outlets. I've never done that before so I'll let you know how that goes. But those are your what I know that you need right now. If, if we need anything else I'll toss that in um, in like a graphic or something. Okay, so the first thing that we did was we cleared the walls. We removed the um, wall sconces that were actually right there, outlet covers, and then, of course, moved the furniture that was in front of the wall. I kind of wiped down the wall. We have dogs, so there's always dog hair and that type of situation. And so I wanted to make sure it was clean. Not sure that that matters, but I just don't want to lay something on something dirty. Then, from there, we are going to locate the um, stud. Also something that we did um, as prep work, I guess you could say, was remove the trim. The boards are pre-cut to eight feet and our ceilings are eight feet. So I just thought removing it and having, um, 
I just thought it would make the installation easier and I wanted to replace the trim anyways, so it just worked. I got this out of my dad's garage. I cut the top like this to kind of free it up and then I just stuck this in, pried it off and it worked amazing. It was super easy. So now the walls are truly blank. No lights, outlets, or trim. And now we're going to locate the studs. So the difference in going horizontal and vertical with shiplap is if you go horizontal, every board can be nailed into a stud multiple times. When you're going vertical, a lot of boards are gonna miss a stud. And so that's why you put these spurring strips, you um, put them on the wall. Um, they suggest every two feet. I'm gonna do every four feet just to give myself less of a hassle and I'll let you know how that holds up. But um, I'm assuming that's better than not at all because I've been seeing a lot of people just using liquid nails and not doing this at all when they're going vertical. The thing is, I don't want, if I ever want to take the shiplap down, I don't want to tear up the wall. And so this is, I've learned that this would be a lot easier to remove based on how easy the trim was to remove. So doing this is what I'm going to do. So this one is actually cut to four feet. So I'm going to take this and this is how I'm going to mark my second section of brackets, if you, if you will. Don't point that at me. I'm. It's a, it, it won't be fun, but it wasn't even on the uh, thing. Yeah, I don't really trust you with it though. Alright, hold it that up. I'm, here, no, here. Horizontally, babe, we watched the video. Oh, yeah. Okay, see the lines? No, no, no. The lines? The lines. I'm better off with my hand. The lines. It's not flat. Why is it not flat? Because our walls aren't flat. Okay, so I finally got the uh, furring boards, the the boards that are going to secure the vertical shiplap to the wall up. I had a few mishaps. I loaded the brad nailer with the wrong gauge nails and it took me about 30 minutes to figure out how the jigsaw works. So that's a beginner DIYer. Um, that's just, you know, how it happened. I tried to keep a good attitude and I would encourage you to do the same thing when you're using power tools. Luckily, there's so many YouTube videos where people are gracious enough to teach you how to do it. So now it's time to ship that. So I've arrived at the part that I've been fearful of the entire time, and it's it was two boards deep. It's time to cut a hole in the shiplap for the light socket. I um, have watched online that you drill a pilot hole, essentially a pilot hole. You drill a hole, and that gives your um, jigsaw blade somewhere to enter for you to cut. So. Let's see. All right, this is not a pretty hole, but it's a hole, and let's see if it fits on the outlet. So I have finished the vertical shiplap in my bedroom and I am very happy with it. So the, the whole project took me like two hours, 
and the longest part was putting the outlet covers back on <laughs> so it's there was a little bit of a um it was a little bit more challenging because with the furring strips the the screws have to be longer to attach it and I did make my holes just a sliver too too wide so I'm actually gonna leave you details on how you can avoid that mistake in the blog post um, that will be linked below um, because it's boring to talk about that if you were just coming to watch this video just I don't want to get too too deep into that but I will leave all the details below in the blog post where you can nerd out about how to do this. This is a very beginner friendly project for sure. Um, like I said in the beginning, I wasn't sure I could do it. It looks a lot scarier uh, than it is. It's super, I mean, the nail gun is really easy to use and a jigsaw is really easy, easy to use. I have seen other people use other types of saws but the jigsaw was what I had available to borrow and it was also the the primary tool that I saw rented on at Home Depot too. So it's just, it's accessible for everyone and that is the goal here is for me to create these projects for you, not only to make my home beautiful, but also so you can do them. So now it's time, mom, come on, it's time to decorate. So oh, I am not a I she's not a DIYer, but honestly I never finish when I start to decorate. Right. I never finish my projects. Yeah. We have to call on the recruits. It's that last ten percent that gets us every time. Yeah, so you're here. I'm here. And we're gonna do this. We're gonna go shopping. Right? Or and then are we gonna do like one of those real speedy things where we go <laughs> and the whole thing's done? Yeah, we're get we're getting new at reels. <laughs> All the details, like I said, will be in the the description below, so you can link, you can read it all. Um, I try to make these videos entertaining. I hope, I hope it is. And mm -hmm. so now, if you're into home decor, I'll give you a little preview of what the room will be. And but your hair looks great. I just got it cut yesterday, so. <laughs> so not only entertaining, but she's cute. So anyways, we're going to decorate. If you have any feedback or any projects you'd like to see, let us know in the comments below. You're supposed to tell them to subscribe. Like, subscribe, and share with all your friends. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> UFP Edge Timeless Nipple. <laughs> I've said nipple gap ship lap. <laughs> we're going to talk about what you need for... I feel like every video I have a screaming baby in the background. I, I cut the cock with, um, I cut the cocking.